There we go. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Sharon and today I am speaking to you from the comfort of my own bedroom. I just wanted to spend some time to recap on the month, reassess the past few weeks so I could be better prepared and move on to the next. By the time this video is up, We'll already be well into April, so I thought I'd also share how I plan on entering April, how I want to approach it, what my goals are, what I'm going to be reading. So to start off, I just want to share a glimpse of this past week. Plans got shifted and somehow this week turned out to be the week of visiting art studios, which I have no complaints about. I just always love visiting people's studios because you could feel that creative energy lingering in there. Both the studios that I visited all had such a creative energy just lingering in the atmosphere and I loved it but at the same time it made me realize that I haven't been really keeping up with my artwork. So I want to enter April with a good balanced schedule that works for me. And it's gonna be hard because I don't plan out my week as much as I should. I'm just always used to doing things on a whim and I never felt the need of a specific schedule. But we're gonna have to do it because without it, I'm just not gonna have the time to do a lot of the things that I used to just do daily. For instance, I never needed to carve out some time to do some reading. But these days, I just haven't had the time to just sit down and have a good read. For those of you who were here since my February vlogs, you'd remember that I set a goal for myself to get through one book a week. And that plan went down the drain ages ago because, well, for starters, I realized that it was a ridiculous goal for me personally in the first place because I just felt... A week wasn't sufficient enough to really soak in a good book but aside from that I just haven't had the time to just really sit down and concentrate on a book the only time I had for reading was when I was on the go I'd always be reading on bus rides or on the subway I just know that I'm never gonna have the time to read otherwise so my bag's been pretty heavy lately 
The lighting in my room was just horrible, so I'm now out here in my living room. Starting with the bag itself by this brand called Yamim. Recently, they were so kind enough to gift me this one. So thank you to Yamim for sending me this wonderful bag. I feel like I haven't done a what's in my bag in a hot minute or at all, actually. First things first, the book that I've been reading ever since my last vlog. I am not even halfway through, so you could tell that I really have not had the time to read at all these days. And sometimes when I just can't concentrate on the pages, I carry around a second, a much lighter book with me, you know, just in case I get bored of this. Another, just some staples, my wallet and my camera obviously um some hand cream by aesop this one i don't know it's just the blue one I always carry them around in case my hair needs a little fix especially since i have bangs and what else oh some in case my wireless ones run out of battery. I just start to panic a little bit if I don't have music coming through my ears on the way to things, especially if I am on public transportation. There's just so many people there, I get overwhelmed. But when I do have music on, I just, you know, zone everything out so it's not a problem. But without it, it can trigger my anxiety just a little bit. So yeah, I can't go anywhere without these. I am one of those people that mix a bunch of different lipsticks into one shade. No one knows the difference but me. I'm pretty sure there's a shade of lipstick out there that doesn't require me to just mix a bunch of different products into one, but a tiny little bottle of... So it's not a perfume that you spray, but you just roll onto your wrist. And it's just a really nice tiny bottle of heaven it just smells really nice maison louis marie number four i'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce that my french has is not at that level where i could just freely read a random french word that i don't know sorry it is not a flowery smell, it's more of a herby, earthy kind of smell. And this pen. This pen in particular is probably the most treasured thing in my bag because when I read a book, I always underline some of the quotes that I either really resonated with or a quote that just really inspired me in that moment. And this has just changed that game. It is so beautiful to have the quotes just underlined in silver. So, as I've said, my main goal is to come up with a good schedule that works for me. But right alongside there, I've been trying to get better with handling my assets more responsibly and recently i did a spring summer closet clean out a little decluttering i realized i had a lot of clothes that i either had to donate or sell for second hand and it made me realize how blindly i've been consuming my clothes these recent years and I need to start shopping smarter, not harder, from now on. Both for economical reasons and for environmental reasons. So lately, I've been racking my brain on how to style the pieces that I already have in my wardrobe. Because I still want to have like Pinterest girl outfits and still look cute, but I don't want to be adding unnecessary items into my closet. Yeah, so I've been trying to come up with new outfits from pieces I've already worn before. Lizzie McGuire, you are an outfit repeater. So assuming that I keep to a good reading schedule for the month, I wanted to show you the books that I plan on reading. And the first one 
The Creative Act by Rick Rubin. A little mid review. As an artist, I feel that it's important to always remember creativity is a living, flowing thing. Some days your creativity might not be as apparent as others and I feel like at least the first half of this book really informs the reader of that fact. So highly recommend. Even if you aren't in the creative field, this book recommends anyone should read it but I do think that personally people who are either artists or again in the creative field would benefit more from this than to those who aren't but really anyone could read this it is a good light read and another one was obviously Bluids because I got this in Hong Kong and I still haven't managed to get through get past page 10 so I will be reading these two simultaneously and if I am really diligent with my reading this month I think I'm gonna try to read Getting Lost since I am learning French I wanted to get into that whole French Paris mood so I think if I have time I'll try to get to this one but my hopes aren't high. There we go. <laughs> So I did not end up finding a good field of grass, but I did find a good bench. So I'm just here reading and just people watching. Although this month did not get off to such a great start, um, I have hopes that things will start looking up. I feel like I always have so many things I want to say to you guys, but once the camera turns on, I just completely forget everything I want to say. So that's another thing I want to be working on, to try to not let the camera mess with my train of thought, I guess. If you've been here since my New Year's vlog, I talked about how I felt like time was moving, but I was just standing still in the same place, never really moving forward. As humans, we are naturally very nostalgic and we look to the past to just find some source of happiness and I don't think that's a bad thing in itself but it's always bad to get stuck in the past and so 
me doing this monthly recapping it made me appreciate the things that are going on for me now whereas before i used to think to myself those were the good old days and oh i'm so miserable now why can't i go back i don't do any specific prompts but i just do questions like oh what was i thankful for this month and what do I want to stop doing the next month? What I want to keep doing the next month? And yeah, things like that. I think I will be signing off here. Thank you for joining me again this week. And I hope you had a lovely time watching. I hope your month is getting off to a great start. Mine didn't, but I hope yours is. And I hope many more good things come to you throughout this month and of course in the next and the next if you're new and you've enjoyed my somewhat just awkward kind of cozy quiet calm content subscribe for more join the fam we're very welcoming here and to all my returning viewers and subscribers i love you all so much i appreciate that you're here with me every week and thank you so much for taking time out of your busy week or day to watch one of my videos sometimes i just can't believe anyone would take the time to watch me but yeah, thank you. I feel so supported and I appreciate the community that we have made here and I hope to continue to, you know, communicate with you guys, share my life with you guys, put out good content, put out good vibes and all that. Thank you again and I'll see you soon. Bye. I miss talking.